They're all in line. We're ready for the start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Since time immemorial, mankind has used horses to accomplish various tasks. This ranges from pulling carts to carrying riders across vast distances. The horses involved are carefully bred and raised, trained each step of the way by their owners to ensure their suitability for the tasks at hand. Each horse endures a grueling regimen. After all, livelihoods depend on these horses. Even with the advent of modern vehicles, many cultures and jobs still utilize horses. But even amongst highly specialized horses, some horse breeds stand out. These are one in a thousand or even one in a million horses, absolute marvels of genetics. They may also have unique features sometimes. Would you like to know more? Then stick around to find out about some spectacular horses. Number one, Choctaw Indian Pony. First on our list is the Choctaw Indian Pony. This breed originated from the southeastern United States. In the past, it was primarily bred by the Choctaw Native American people, hence the breed's name. Traditionally, they bred these ponies in their homeland, which comprises the areas of modern-day Alabama and Mississippi. Choctaw Indian ponies stand between 12 to 14 hands high. If you're wondering why the unit of hands is used, it's because that's common when measuring horses. A hand is roughly equivalent to 4 inches. Choctaw Indian ponies have manes and tails that are short and thick. They are also muscular. These horses come in a variety of colors such as bay, black, and chestnut. In terms of their usage, the horses have been used for everything from hunting to war, to carrying goods and people. But their most important duty was to be part of ceremonies and rituals. The Choctaw Indians treated them with the utmost respect, as these horses were considered sacred animals. Unfortunately, the Choctaw Indian ponies are a rare breed these days. There are not many remaining, despite efforts to boost their numbers via breeding. Number 2. Soraya Horse At number 2, we have the Soraya Horse. The Soraya Horse seemingly originated in the Iberian Peninsula, an area associated with modern-day Portugal and Spain. This horse tends to stand between 13 and 14 hands high. Like the Choctaw Indian pony, it has a short but also muscular build. The Soraya possesses a convex profile, long ears, and a high-set tail. It is also known for its intelligence, alongside its toughness and strength. While the Soraya is domesticated, it still shares a strong connection with the wild horses of the Iberian Peninsula. For millennia, people have used Sarayas to do things such as work, riding, and even waging war. As a bonus, they are also easy to train due to their high independence. Unfortunately, they are considered an endangered breed. The population of Soraya horses is critically low, with fewer than 200 existing in 2007. Due to this, scientists have been putting in significant effort to ensure the breed doesn't go extinct. Number 3. Nabstrupper Next, another unique horse we have is the Nabstrupper. It is a breed originating from Denmark, but can also be found across the world. The Nabstrupper is medium-sized, usually between 14 to 16 hands high, and is also strong and athletic. And that's not all. There's one thing that sets it apart from other athletic horses. This is their spotted coat, which is unique amongst horses. The Nabstrupper's coat can be of any size and shape. It can also be found anywhere on the horse's body. These spots give Nabstruppers a beautiful, unique appearance. But this breed of horse isn't just beautiful to look at. It has a high intelligence and specializes in a variety of tricks and performance techniques. This includes dressage, jumping, eventing, and pleasure riding. It is a highly popular horse breed, despite its small numbers worldwide. Number 4. American Cream Draft Horse At number 4 is the American Cream Draft Horse. These gentle giants are known for their creamy white color, but that's not all. They have a common docile nature and were bred for heavy farm work like plowing fields and hauling logs. Despite their size, they're surprisingly nimble and agile, making them great for activities like carriage rides and horse shows. Unfortunately, they're considered a critical breed, with a global population of only about 6,000. Number 5. Belgian Brabant The Belgian Brabant. This breed of horses comes from Germany. Out of all the draft breeds, it is the heaviest. Belgian Brabants also have a sturdy build and shorter legs. They are primarily used for pulling carriages or sleighs, plowing, and other farm labor, as they can pull very heavy weights. On the Belgian coast, these horses are used by fishermen for crab and shrimp fishing. 
They are also trained and used for riding and are known to have a calm demeanor, comfortable seat, and big stride. These are all excellent qualities for a riding horse. The Belgian Brabant once had large numbers in the United States, but the breed gradually diminished over the years. In the 1970s, they were re-imported to the United States and now have their own association to conserve and promote the breed. Number 6. Akalteke Our next horse breed comes from Central Asia. Named the Akalteke, this breed is rare and ancient, originating in Turkmenistan. The breed's unique feature is its metallic coat. This often gives it a silver or golden appearance, and the nickname Golden Horse. Like many Central Asian breeds, Akalteke horses are popular due to their athletic and highly intelligent nature. Endurance riding, racing, dressage, and jumping, Akalteke horses are also considered one of the most beautiful horse breeds in the world. Several theories exist regarding the original ancestry of the Akalteke, some dating back thousands of years. The Akalteke may be a descendant of an older breed known as the Turkoman horse. Some even claim it is the same breed. The tribes of Turkmenistan selectively bred the horses, recording their pedigrees orally and using them for raiding. The breed was used in the losing fight against the Russian Empire and was subsumed into the empire along with its country. One notable example of an Akal Teke stallion was the horse named Absent. Absent won the Grand Prix de Dressage at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome, while being ridden by Sergei Filatov. He later went on with Filatov to win the bronze individual medal in Tokyo in the 1964 Summer Olympics. Absent also won the Soviet team gold medal under Ivan Kalita at the 1968 Summer Olympics in Mexico City. In 2009, an Akalteke named Almila also carried the French poet Laurence Bougot on a trek alone from Isfahan in Iran to Paris by way of Turkey, Greece, and Italy. Her trip covered 6,500 kilometers in less than six months. Number 7. Nakoda Horse The Nakoda Horse is a breed famous for its strength and sturdiness, its well-defined musculature, and deep chest. Nakoda Horses also have excellent temperaments. This means they don't get moody or throw tantrums easily. Thus, they are easy to train and handle. In terms of work, this breed is skilled in multiple disciplines, some of these include riding, ranch work, jumping, and even dressage. Some Nakoda horses are even used in riding therapy. Number 8. Appaloosa Horse Another highly unique breed is the Appaloosa Horse. They have very distinctive coats and body markings, including spots, mottling, and striped hooves. Appaloosa horses are hardy creatures, capable of doing tasks that require significant endurance. Ranch work, for example, or long-distance riding. Unfortunately, this breed is facing the issue of low population numbers. There are only a few thousand worldwide. Number 9. Norwegian Fjord Horse At ninth place, we have one of the world's oldest and purest horse breeds, the Norwegian Fjord Horse. This breed is a small but sturdy breed, with a strong temperament to match its build. Norway has had horses since the last ice age, which persisted from 12,800 years ago to about 11,550 years ago. The fjord horse's ancestors may have migrated there during this period, but the breed of horse was only domesticated more recently, around 4,000 years ago. The Vikings used these horses as war mounts and also farm animals. Even as late as World War II, they were useful for work in mountainous terrain. This is due to the breed's build and thick coat, allowing it to handle Norway's harsh winters. Because of this, the fjord horse excels in heavy work, such as plowing fields or hauling wood. At the same time, it is still agile and sure-footed enough to traverse mountainous terrain. The sight of this breed is common at Norwegian riding and therapeutic schools, with its mild temperament and small size making it suitable for young handlers. The fjord horse also makes a good harness horse and is commonly used in competition and tourist transport. Number 10. Gypsy Vanner this breed of horse is prized for its beauty. It possesses a thick, flowing mane and tail, alongside a sturdy build. The Gypsy Vanners were bred by the Romani people as workhorses, but over time, they have become show horses and companion animals. Gypsy Vanners come in a variety of colors, the most common being black, bay, brown, and chestnut. Another feature that contributes to their beauty is the distinctive feathering on their lower leg. Of course, horses don't have feathers, 
but this breed has long hair around the hoof that touches the ground. This hair resembles feathers. Gypsy Vanners are medium-sized horses and weigh between 1,200 and 1,500 pounds. They are known for their calm and friendly personalities. This makes them suitable for both beginners as well as experienced riders. Number 11, the Newfoundland Pony. This is a small horse breed, hailing from Newfoundland, Canada. Since the breed originates on an island, these horses are known for their hardiness, strength, and agility. That makes them perfect for work in rugged terrain. They are also smart and easy to train. Newfoundland ponies love solving puzzles and learning new tricks. This makes them very adaptable horses. And most important of all, the Newfoundland pony has no known genetic defects. Many horse breeds have them due to selective breeding, but this breed is one of the few that does not. Number 12. Altai Horse Next, we have the Altai Horse. It is a breed native to the harsh climate of the Caucasus Mountains. The Altai Horse may be one of the oldest breeds in the world. Living in this region for centuries or even millennia, these horses have developed a strong and compact build and a thick and shaggy coat. It is a rather short horse at only around 13, 14 hands high. Like many other workhorses, the Altai horses find themselves mostly used for transportation, hunting, and herding. Despite their small size, Altai horses are incredibly strong and can carry heavy loads. They are also known for their intelligence, trainability, and affectionate nature, and have been trained for a wide range of disciplines, such as endurance riding, jumping, and eventing. Unfortunately, the breed is a rarity these days. The Livestock Conservancy Organization lists its numbers as critically low, and efforts are being made to conserve and promote the breed. Number 13. Suffolk Punch Now, we have another horse known for its size and strength. The Suffolk Punch, also known as the Suffolk Horse or Suffolk Sorrel, stands very tall, between 16 and 18 hands at the shoulder, and can weigh up to 2,200 pounds. Its head is also large, supported by a muscular neck. And yet, despite its imposing appearance, the Suffolk Punch is a docile, easygoing breed. It was traditionally used for farming these days. The breed is rare despite its historical importance. The usage of machines and automation in farming is rendering it obsolete. Still, efforts are being made to conserve it. Number 14, Dale's Pony. Number 14 on this list is the Dale's Pony. As the name implies, this breed of horse comes from the Dales in Northern England. A hardy, versatile horse, the Dales Pony is well recognized for its strength, stamina, and sure-footedness. In the past, this made them perfect for working in the rugged hills and moors of their native region. They are rather short horses and have thick, weather-resistant coats. Like the Gypsy Vanner, the Dales Pony also has feathering on its legs. Aside from the usual work like plowing, pack carrying, and carting, Dale's ponies have even been used in coal mines. They are known for their calm and docile temperament, making them great for children and beginners, and they are also known for their intelligence and trainability, which makes them easy to handle and work with. Number 15, Camarillo White Horse. Next is a very new breed of rare horse, which came into being only a hundred years ago. The Camarillo White Horse is known for its pure white color. The breed was first created in 1921 by Adolfo Camarillo, a Californian native. He purchased a nine-year-old stallion named Sultan at the California State Fair in Sacramento. Camarillo described Sultan as a stallion of a dream. After purchasing Sultan, Camarillo and his horse went on to win many championships throughout California. Sultan later became the sire for a new breed of horses named after his master, Camarillo. From the 1930s onwards, Camarillo White Horses became famous all along the California coast for their performances at various events. They were well known as regular participants in the Tournament of Roses Parade. They even attended the parade to open the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. Sultan was owned and bred by the Camarillo family until the death of Adolfo Camarillo's daughter Carmen in 1987. As of today, the Camarillo White Horse breed remains the official horse of the city of Camarillo. The breed still shows up at parades. Many notable figures have also ridden these horses. This includes former U.S. President Ronald Reagan, 1946 Nobel Peace Prize recipient John Mott, movie star Leo Carrillo, and Stephen Ford, the son of former President Gerald Ford. Number 16. Marwari 
Next, the Marwari horse. A rare breed of horse from the Marwar region of Rajasthan, it is a horse breed that finds its origins in the 12th century. The Rathoris, traditional rulers of the Marwar region, were the first to breed the Marwari. Despite their limited technology, they were able to enforce a strict breeding regiment that promoted purity and hardiness. This led to the creation of a very sturdy lineage. Used throughout history as a cavalry horse by the people of the Marwar region, the Marwari was noted for its loyalty and bravery in battle. It is related to the Kathiawari breed of the Kathiawar Peninsula of Gujarat. Both breeds share an unusual trait. They have inward curving ears, which resemble an arch of sorts. Fitting for a warhorse breed, the Marwari is a hardy riding horse that has high endurance. Unfortunately, in the 20th century, the breed deteriorated significantly. Poor management practices in the 1930s resulted in the dilution of the gene pool. This led to a reduction of the breeding stock and the risk of Marwari horses dying out. Because of this, the export of Marwari horses was also banned for decades. The ban was lifted beginning in 2000. Since 2008, visas allowing temporary travel of Marwari horses outside India have been available in small numbers. Today, India's horse breeders have worked hard to help the Marwari regain some of its popularity. In the present day, the Marwari is used for light draft and agricultural work, as well as riding and packing. An Indian society was formed in 1995 to protect the Marwari horse. Though they are still rare, they are becoming more popular outside of India due to their unique looks. Still, despite the breed's resurgence, its gene pool remains at risk. Many Marwari horses are often crossed with thoroughbreds to produce a larger horse with more versatility. Number 17. Galicheno. At number 17, we have a horse breed originating from Mexico, the Galicheno. Galichenos are descendants of horses brought from Spain by Hernán Cortés and other conquistadors during the 16th century. Many of these horses escaped or were released. They then formed feral bands in the interior of Mexico, which were captured by local inhabitants. The Galichenos were also often used by Spanish missionaries to the American West. There, they contributed to the lineage of the American Indian horse. Historically, Galichenos were used for ranch work. They still are in various parts of Texas. Their endurance and stamina make them excellent trail horses for children and adults. Although small in stature, they are generally considered a horse, rather than a pony. Galichenos are always solid colored. In Mexico, they are an all-around horse, used for riding, packing, and light draft. In the United States, they are often used as mounts for younger competitors, although they are also found competing in Western events. The agility of the Galachinos also makes them perfect for competitions, and they excel in barrel racing. This breed of horse is also intelligent and can be trained to navigate obstacle courses well. They carry themselves well and are excellent horses in the dressage arena. The current market for Galachinos is limited, however. Due to their small size, many believe they are unsuited for adult riders. But older riders are discovering that it is easier to mount a smaller horse that is fully capable of carrying an adult. 1958, Galicenos were first imported to the United States, and in 1959, a breed registry was formed. Many of the horses are also registered with the American Indian Horse Registry. Number 18. Fredericksborger. The Fredericksborg horse is the oldest horse breed in Denmark, dating back to the horses of the Royal Stud at Fredericksborg. In the 18th century, this horse was one of the most famous breeds in the world. Many regarded it highly for its reliability, seeing it as an elegant school horse. It was also used as a carriage horse and a military charger. Horse breeders also used it to improve other breeds. Throughout the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries, Fredericksburger horses were interbred with different breeds. This was commonly done to bolster their genetics. It also served to improve certain weaknesses like muscularity and stamina. These breeding programs were aimed at producing a riding horse with a beautiful and supple figure. There were also efforts to produce a larger type of horse for pulling the royal carriages. The color of carriage horses was critical to present a complete team of six to eight horses of the same color. Because of its popularity, this breed was exported in large numbers to many parts of the world. Ironically, this caused the breed to decline due to a low population of the breed in its native land. As the decline set in, 
The original stud farm was closed in 1839, but fortunately, private breeders have kept a small number of pure individuals over the years. The remaining horses are prized for their looks, as well as their high performance in competitions. Fredericksburger horses often perform best in harness and can compete up to the international levels of combined horse driving. They are also suitable horses for amateurs, as they are not selected for sensitivity. Some individuals are successful in competitive dressage and show jumping as well. Number 19. The Banker Horse Next, we have the Banker Horse. The Banker Horse isn't a horse that counts money. No, it's a breed of semi-feral or feral horses living on barrier islands in North Carolina's Outer Banks. Small, hardy, and bearing a docile temperament, this breed is genetically related to the Carolina Marsh Tacky of South Carolina and Florida Cracker Horse breeds. This lineage can be traced back to colonial Spanish and Iberian horses, like the Galicinos. The current population of wild banker horses is estimated to be about 400. Bankers are not indigenous to the islands. They often trample plants and ground nesting animals, but authorities have chosen to allow them to remain. This is due to their historical significance. Adopted bankers are often used for pleasure riding and pulling carts. As they have a calm disposition, they are used as children's mounts. The breed has also been used in several mounted patrols. Before 1915, the United States Life Saving Service used banker horses for beach watches and rescues. In addition to carrying park rangers on patrols, the horses hauled equipment to and from shipwreck sites. The Coast Guard also used them for patrols during World War II. In the 1980s, bankers were used for beach duty at Cape Hatteras National Seashore. Number 20. The Exmoor Pony This is a British breed of pony. It is one of the mountain and moorland pony breeds native to the British Isles. Thus, the breed falls within the larger Celtic group of European ponies. Exmoor ponies are one of the oldest and purest British pony breeds. They have barely mixed with other breeds at all for all the millennia they've existed. With a stocky, powerful build, the Exmoor pony is strong for its height. It is also notable for its hardiness and endurance. Aside from work, people use Exmoor ponies for a variety of leisure activities. This includes showing, long-distance riding, cart pulling, and agility. In 2003, an Exmoor named Stowbrook Jenny Wren was the first of its breed to win the NPS Bailey's Horse Feeds Ridden Mountain and Moreland Championship at the Olympia Christmas Show. Exmoor Ponies also won both divisions at the International Horse Agility Championships in 2011. They also took a third title at the 2012 Championships. These are just a few amongst many unique horse breeds, most of which have their own skill sets. While horses may seem less relevant nowadays, they remain useful in their own way, and perhaps we'll find more uses for them. As time continues to pass, thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe.